Hey there again everybody, in this video we're going to create a weight converter program using C. This is meant to serve as a practice project, to help us get used to if statements. Let's begin. For this program, a user can either type in pounds or kilograms. We'll declare the following variables. We will create an integer of choice. I'll set that to be zero right away. For the choice variable, a user is going to pick one to convert from kilograms to pounds, or two from pounds to kilograms. Let's create a floating point number for pounds. I'll set that to be 0.0f and then kilograms. Float kilograms equals 0.0f. Let's print the following. Using printf, let's print weight conversion calculator. Then we'll give the user two options. One will be for kilograms to pounds. Two will be pounds to kilograms. Let's add some new line characters. Then we will create a prompt for enter your choice, one or two. Then we need user input. We'll use scanf. We'll be accepting an integer for choice. The format specifier is percent %d for decimal at the address of choice. This is where we'll be storing the value, the user input. So ideally, a user is going to type in one or two. We'll need some if statements. If our choice is equal to one, we will convert kilograms to pounds. I'll just add a note here for now. Kilograms to pounds. Else if choice is equal to two, we will convert pounds to kilograms. If we reach an else statement, that means the user selected something that was invalid. We'll print a message to let the user know. Invalid choice. Please enter one or two. Then I'll add a new line. For choice one, let's print the following for now, before testing. Enter the weight in kilograms. Then if they pick choice two, enter the weight in pounds. Let's do a test run. Weight conversion calculator. Do we want choice one kilograms to pounds or pounds to kilograms? I'll select one, enter the weight in kilograms. Let's run it again. Let's pick two, enter the weight in pounds. This time I'll select 99. That's not a valid choice. Invalid choice. Please enter one or two. Okay, that's good. Now we have to accept user input. We'll use scanf to get user input. We're accepting a floating point number. We need a format specifier of percent %f. Then at the address of our variable kilograms, we're inserting a value. Then we will assign pounds equals our variable of kilograms times the following 2.20462. And then we'll output the following print f let's display kilograms it's a floating point number we need the format specifier of f i will also set the precision to two decimal places after the decimal we'll insert a variable there then add the word kilograms is equal 
to, here we'll insert pounds. We need percent %f. I'll set the precision to two digits after the decimal, the word pounds, then a new line. We're going to insert the variables of kilograms, followed by pounds. So just to save a little bit of time, let's copy these three lines, then paste them within choice two. Then we just have to change a few things around. With scanf, we're inserting a value at our variable of pounds. We will take pounds divided by 2.20462 and assign the value to kilograms. We're going to print pounds is equal to kilograms and then switch these variables around. Okay, and that should be our program. Oh, and then I'm going to add a colon space after each of these prompts. There we go. Now let's test it. Weight conversion calculator. Do we want kilograms to pounds or pounds to kilograms? Let's start with one, kilograms to pounds. Enter the weight in kilograms. I'll just pick a random number. 10.1. 10.1 kilograms is equal to 22.27 pounds. Let's run this again, but we'll select two this time. Enter the weight in pounds, 22.7 pounds. Well, 22.7 pounds is equal to 10.3 kilograms. And then if we select something that's not valid, when we enter our choice, we get the following message. Invalid choice, please enter one or two. All right, everybody, so that is a weight converter program that you can write using C.